Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today we're going to do something a little bit Japanesey. Actually, it's probably more Americani, but um, it's still delicious. Salmon teriyaki. So, I had a request for generic teriyaki last um, ooh, September from Bubbles. Hello, Bubbles. Uh, and finally got round to it. If you have requested something in the past uh, six months, um, I am working through my backlog, but it's quite big. So I'll get to you eventually, unless I've said I won't. So teriyaki just refers to the technique of marinating meat or fish in a, a kind of sticky, sweet-ish glaze, and then grilling or broiling it. It's insanely simple and delicious. So let's do it. So ingredients for the teriyaki, I've got my salmon, a couple of nice fillets there, and I'm going to make my own teriyaki sauce. You can buy it in a bottle and it's, you know, it's okay. But uh, I'm going to make it and I don't claim this is authentically Japanese because it isn't. Um, it's a bit Americanized, but because uh, <laughs> it's got sugar in it. So what you've got is two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of mirin, um, a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, you should use rice vinegar, but I haven't got any. A uh, teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and a tablespoon of brown sugar. So we need to, first of all, make the sauce, mix together those ingredients and um, reduce it by about half. So continuity freaks will have noticed I've changed the pan. Uh, I just had a, an attack of unsuitable pan syndrome. The induction hob didn't like the other one because it was too small. Anyway, here we go. Uh, get this on low heat. And add the stuff. So, what did I say? A tablespoon of vinegar. Two of soy sauce. Two of mirin. And one sugar. So there's not actually a whole lot of liquid there, but uh, we'll be okay. And the ginger garlic. <clears throat> and the ginger garlic paste, which I cannot open. Uh, Mrs. Keith Cooks. Okay. <laughs> She's quite strong and hunky. <laughs> so a uh, teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. And we just want to let that bubble away till it's reduced by about half. I believe the traditional original Japanese teriyaki sauce was quite thin but the reduction process and the addition of sugar means that you get a thicker glaze that sticks better to your meat or fish. So there we go that's uh, quite thick and I'm just going to pop it in a little bowl and stick it in the freezer to cool right down because uh, you don't want to be using hot marinade on cold fish or meat. That is a bit of a health hazard. <laughs> right, the marinade is nice and cool and thick. And so I'm just going to cut these fillets in two and put them in a plastic bag with the marinade. So you want to kind of concentrate the uh, marinade on the fleshy side. You might have fillets without skin on, that's fine, but I just like fish skin. <laughs> Give them a good squish, get them all more or less coated, and stick that in the fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Fish doesn't actually take that long for marinade to be effective, so that's good, because I'm hungry. So the salmon's had a good marinade, and I'm just going to pop it on a baking sheet lined with foil. And I've got the grill on. Now, Americans might be confused by that. I think you call it a broiler. It's the heating element in the top of your oven. And I think what you call a grill is what we call a barbecue. Um, I could be wrong. Anyway, that's going in for about five minutes, flesh side up, and then I'm gonna turn it over. Okay, woo, five minutes. Uh, woo, a bit smoky. Turn it over, I wanna get this skin Nice and crispy, which might take another five, seven minutes. We'll see. Right, the fish is done and ooh, look at that. <laughs> 
Mmm. Nom nom. So there was a minuscule amount of uh, glaze, well, the marinade left. So I'm just, I've heated that up and uh, I'm just going to pour it over the salmon. I've got some sliced spring onion. And some sesame seeds. And just chuck those on. And now we can eat it. Yay! Okay, I think I've earned a little taste. So here we go. Mm -mm. Nom nom. That is fantastic. I love it. Teriyaki salmon. Also works on chicken and other meats. So get it done. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you can get the full recipe on my website, keefcooks.com. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and uh, talk to me. Leave comments, make requests, keep it civil and friendly or I will ban you. And thanks for watching and see you next time.